2023학년도 11월 고등학교 1학년 전국연합학력평가 3교시 영어 영역 듣기평가 방송을 시작하겠습니다. 1번 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. 헬로 비지터스 This is Scott Wolfman from the Edison Convention Center Management Office. We're doing our best to make sure that visitors have a wonderful experience in our convention center. As part of our effort, our center provides a robot guide service. The robot offers guided tours of our exhibitions. Foreign languages, such as Chinese and Spanish, are available. And if you lose your way, the robot will accompany you to where you want to go. So, please feel free to ask our friendly robot guide, and it'll kindly help you. I hope this service makes your experience even better. Thank you. 2번 대화를 듣고 여자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Kevin, what are you doing? Mom, I'm writing a letter to my sponsored child in Congo. That's why you're writing in French. Your French has gotten better and better. Actually, I got help from a translation program. I see. Did you check the translated text before copying it? No, I didn't. Do you think I have to? Yes, you'd better check the translation. Well, I think the translation program does a better job than I can. Not exactly. The translation could have meanings different from what you intended. Hmm, you may be right. The translated text often loses the meaning of my original writing. See? When translating a text with a translation program, you need to check the results. Okay. Thanks for your advice. 3번 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hello, this is Johnny. We've been messaging each other on the online marketplace. Oh, hi. You have more questions about the air conditioner, right? Yes. Could you tell me how long you've been using it? I bought it a year ago. It works well. and is like new, as you can see from the photo. Then why do you want to sell it? Because I don't need it anymore. I'm moving to a place with a built-in air conditioner. I see. I'd like to buy it then. It's $400, correct? That's right. When can you pick it up? Maybe tomorrow. I need to find a truck to load it on first. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Thanks. I'll call you again. 4번 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hi, Benjamin. Did you finish your work for the student lounge design contest? Yes. I'm confident that I'm going to win. Here's my design for it. Awesome. Is that a hanging plant in front of the window? Yes. The plant will give a fresh feel to the lounge. What do you think about the banner on the wall? I love it. The slogan, To the World, goes well with the world map. I hope this place helps students dream big. That's cool. And the two cushions on the sofa 
Make the atmosphere cozier. You're right. Check out the square shaped table as well. Good. It can be useful. Most of all, students will love the vending machine under the clock. You bet. Oban. 대화를 듣고 남자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Miss Kim, empty your plate day is coming. How's the preparation going? I've finally decided on the lunch menu for that day. You did. How did you do that? I did a survey of students' favorite foods. Good idea. Can I help you with anything? Actually, Mr. Han, I'm not sure how to motivate students to participate. How about an award for the class with the fewest leftovers? Sounds great, but how will we find that class? You could give a sticker to the students who leave nothing on their plates, and then you can find the class with the most stickers. Excellent. Could you prepare some stickers for me? Sure. I'll do that for you. Thanks. Then I'll put a notice on the bulletin board. 6번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 매달 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Welcome to Boom Telecom. How can I help you? Hi, I'm thinking of changing my internet provider. What service plans do you have? Okay, we have the economic plan, that's $20 per month, and the supreme plan, which is faster, is $30 per month. I prefer the faster one. All right, we also have an OTT service for an extra $10 per month. What do you think? Awesome. I'd like that as well. Excellent choice. Then you'll have the Supreme Plan with the OTT service, right? Correct. Can I get a discount? I'm afraid that the 10% discount promotion is over. That's a shame, but I'll take it anyway. Thank you. Please fill in this paper with your payment information. Okay. Here you are. 7번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 토크쇼를 방청하러 갈수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Hi, Isabella. Hi, Lorenzo. Did you finish your part-time job? Yes. I'm on my way to a meeting for a chemistry project. What's up? Your favorite talk show is The Alice Mitchell Show, right? Yeah, I'm a big fan of hers. I even went to her book signing event. I knew it. I got two tickets for her talk show. It's next Saturday evening. Whoa! Can you please take me with you? Actually, I'm not available that day. The tickets are all yours. Wait, why can't you go? Is it because of the family gathering you mentioned before? No, that's in two weeks. Next Saturday, I have to attend my friend's wedding. Oh, I see. Then I'll take the tickets with pleasure. Thank you so much. 8번. 대화를 듣고 폴라베어 수임에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Michael, look at this poster. The polar bear swim will be held soon. I know. I've been really looking forward to it. It's on December 23rd. Yeah. We can enjoy winter sea swimming. How nice! To join this event, we must hand in a medical checkup paper. 
I think it's a good policy for everyone's health since the water is icy cold. I agree. By the way, it says that there's a limit of 100 people. Oh, we must hurry. Look, registration starts this Saturday. I'll set a reminder on my phone. Great idea. And the entry fee is just $15. Yes, and all entry fees will be donated to charity. Cool. Let's have some icy fun while doing a good deed. Kuban. Walk in the snow egg one and town de yong a dick go. Il chiazi and nengo silko do she. Hello, listeners. Are you a winter person? Then, walk in the snow might just be the adventure for you. It's a one day tour program at Great White Mountain. Regardless of hiking experience, anyone who is interested in hiking can participate in the tour. Participants are required to bring their own snowshoes and poles. But equipment is also available to rent for a small fee. The registration fee is $10, and we offer discounts to students. Don't forget that you must register in advance to participate. For more information, please visit our website, www.walkinthesnow.com. Thank you. 10번 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 선택할 달력을 고르시오. Honey, what are you looking at? It's a brochure for a new calendar. Why don't we choose one together? Great. How much do you want to spend? I think more than $20 is not reasonable. Agreed. How about trying a new format instead of a wall calendar? We've only used wall calendars so far. Good idea. Let's pick the standing desk format then. Okay. And I prefer one that's made of recyclable paper. Me too. It's more eco friendly than those that cannot be recycled. Then let's cross this out. Now we have two options left. Which one do you prefer? I think the classic art theme doesn't match our interior design. Good point. Then let's choose this one. 11번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Congratulations, Lucas. I heard you were invited to speak at the National Assembly. Thanks. It's a real honor. I think the article I wrote in the newspaper made a strong impression. I'm so proud of you. What did you mostly write about? 12번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Claire, why are you sweating? It's pretty cold outside. Hey, Jamie. I ran to be in time for class. It's too far to walk from the subway station to our college, don't you think? Yes. But the shuttle bus began running last week. You can take it instead. 13번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, Pablo. 
Hi, Eva. Look at my new tablet PC. Wow, how do you like it? It's opened a brand new world to me, but I have a small problem. What is it? Maybe I can be of help. This file works well on my laptop, but it won't open on my tablet. Did you install a file reading app? You need one to open the file on a tablet. I already did that a week ago. Then I'll check a few things. I got it. The free trial period of this app is over. Oh, that's why it doesn't work. Do you think I should pay for this app? Well, it depends on you. You can consider it if you need this app. Hi, Naomi. What are you up to? Hi. I'm looking for volunteer work. Didn't you say you're volunteering? Yes. I'm working as a note taker. You mean helping students with hearing difficulties? Right. It helps deaf students understand the class better. Interesting. Could you tell me more? I type everything during class, even jokes. The more detailed, the more understandable. It sounds like a unique and valuable experience. Yeah. Are you thinking about joining? Absolutely. But can I join in the middle of the semester? It could be possible. I heard one member quit a few days ago. Lucky me. Is the position still available? Hmm, I'm not sure. But if you ask the Student Volunteer Center, you'll get an answer immediately. Tony and Kate are members of the Bread Lovers Club. They plan to go on a bakery tour every month. To make a list of places to visit, they're sharing their ideas about must-visit bakeries. Kate proposes a bakery whose bread she thinks is super delicious. However, Tony finds out that the baker there quit, and since then, there have been lots of reviews complaining about the bread quality getting worse. So, he wants to suggest that they choose a better bakery for their where-to-go list. In this situation, what would Tony most likely say to Kate? Hello, students. Last time, we learned why it's good for us to eat fruits and veggies. But what's good for us isn't always good for animals. Today, let's find out what fruits to avoid when feeding dogs. First, Grapes are known to be highly toxic to dogs. You should be careful because even a single grape can cause severe health damage. Now, let's take a look at cherries. If a dog swallows their seeds, the dog is likely to have difficulties breathing. Next, if your dog doesn't eat avocados, it would be for the best. That's because eating large amounts of avocados can make your dog sick. Finally, don't let your dog snack on grapefruits. The fruit contains so much acid that some dogs can develop stomach problems. Now, you may understand why some fruits are said to be harmful to dogs. 
I hope this information will help you and your dog in living a happy life. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, students. Last time, we learned why it's good for us to eat fruits and veggies. But what's good for us isn't always good for animals. Today, let's find out what fruits to avoid when feeding dogs. First, grapes are known to be highly toxic to dogs. You should be careful because even a single grape can cause severe health damage. Now, let's take a look at cherries. If a dog swallows their seeds, the dog is likely to have difficulties breathing. Next, if your dog doesn't eat avocados, it would be for the best. That's because eating large amounts of avocados can make your dog sick. Finally, don't let your dog snack on grapefruits. The fruit contains so much acid that some dogs can develop stomach problems. Now, you may understand why some fruits are said to be harmful to dogs. I hope this information will help you and your dog in living a happy life. 16번 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은 17번 언급된 과일이 아닌 것은 이제 듣기 문제가 끝났습니다.